Hi, welcome. This is our weekly reading for September 16th through September 22nd, 2016. Remember, it's a general reading, so see what feels right for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you are wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, and praying about. We're all children of God. We're all psychic. We're not all going through the same thing, so see what feels right for you. It could be one nugget that brings you clarity. It could be the whole reading. It could make sense later. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions that are based in love. For the highest, greatest good of everybody involved in the situation and so on, so we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you. Remember, how you ride these energetic waves that come through here is always up to you in the end. Is it your wave? Is it not your wave? Are you waiting for another wave? Preparing for the wave? Crashing into the wave? Riding the wave? Or ignoring the wave? It's always your choice in the end. See how it feels for you. Feel free to make this an interactive video with me if you want to pull some cards for yourself and get some further clarity or personal signs and symbols for this week. All right, thank you guys. I love you. I'll see you in a moment. Hello, Libra. Welcome. This is our weekly reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Inquiring for September 16th through September 22nd, 2016. Let's see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, our Higher Self, Angels and Energies of Love have for Libra, for the highest, greatest good of all. One card for focus, clarity, and understanding into the week for Libra. One card. The Tower, Libra. Okay, so it's about a big old change in perspective. And it's going to happen fast in a flash and it could be something internal or it could be something external. The tower is a big change. It comes into our world in a flash like lightning, like a storm, like a tornado, um, like a volcano and something changes. Something is washed away when this is done so you can rebuild something new. So everything you have that is already pretty solid is good. Everything that's sort of flaky and wasn't built right to begin with is going to be washed away, Libra. This could be structure within a relationship. It could be patterns within a relationship. It could be how you see a relationship. It could be a job that's changed. Something happens with your company and the job is gone. But you know what? What happens after this is always something beautiful. You always get something better because of this. You always get another better, bigger, brighter chance because of this. It creates new growth. It takes away things that were stagnant. It takes away things that were old. It takes away things that you refused to look at that needed to go a long time ago. Sometimes these are things that we ignored so long that now it can't be ignored. So the universe, destiny, God, circumstance, chance comes along and it happens. So it's how you take the fall with this. Expect something to come. It doesn't have to be traumatic, but it's going to change how you see things afterwards. So how do you take the fall? Are you going to ride with this fall and get up again and do it differently? Or are you going to rebuild the same exact tower until it falls down again? Um, Something has to change after this. Let's get more clarity. Um, I'm actually, actually going to go to the life purpose for Libra. So let's do one card for Libra. Let's get more clarity on the tower. 
It's also number 16. So it brings you to, I always feel like a change in spirit, a change in truth, a change in what you pursue, a change in why you're pursuing it, Libra. One card for Libra. Freedom. That's a good reason to pursue something, Libra. If it's for freedom, so you can feel free, so you can feel like you can breathe. You're free to do what you choose. Perhaps this tower comes from a choice you make. Perhaps this is a choice somebody else makes. Perhaps this is a choice nobody wanted or made and it just came. But it's offering this. It's offering freedom somehow, Libra, in your life. And freedom is beautiful. So what is it in your life, Libra, that would make you feel free? That makes you feel like you can breathe? What needs to be released? What's going to be released? How are you going to move forward with that? How are you going to open your arms and let yourself fly after this release? All right, let's go to the tarot. Illuminati. Let's get another card. For Libra. The wheel. Okay, so you're releasing something that wasn't really healthy, wasn't good, wasn't working, was stagnant, was old, was just over. It's time for a new journey. This is the world. So, or I'm sorry, not the world. Maybe the world's important. The wheel, the wheel of fortune. So it's fortune turning for you, Libra. I feel like fortune is on your side here. No matter what this tower is, it's bringing you fortune. I feel like for some, for some of you, like I hear fame. So perhaps you want fame but perhaps, or perhaps some of you are famous and maybe this tower was, I feel like maybe not understanding everything that came with fame, being recognized, being noticed, being having people in your business. Maybe that was really different. I guess that would make you feel trapped if you were famous, right? If everybody was always watching you all the time without you wanting them there getting in your business, making up stories about you to have some news. So that would be hard. So perhaps there is something leaving your life. Perhaps you're moving or going somewhere a little more quiet so you can get a little freedom in your life, a little peace. Um, that's not for everybody. Maybe some of you are thinking about being famous, wanting to be in the spotlight, but Perhaps you need to think about what that involves and you need to make sure you are centered when you're there so you're not turned on your head upside down for a loop and then thrown off that fortune wheel before you know it. To handle this fortune, you have to be in the center. You have to understand you're protected by spirit all around you, but you need to notice the signs. You need to get on board with this. You need to take the steering wheel, wheel in the center and drive because the easiest place on this whole card is in the center. I feel like that's like somewhere on earth in this card, like where you live, where is your home, where is your center? Maybe, maybe it's about home this week, Libra. Um, how to feel comfortable at home, how to feel balanced at home. I see like, I see a lot of knowledge in this card. There's books everywhere. Books in the sky, books with the eagle, book, books with the angel, books with the bull, books with the lion. So maybe there's a lot, the snake. So maybe there's a lot of knowledge going on here. And um, maybe this knowledge helps with freedom somehow. Let's go to the Native American tarot and let's get another card for Libra. Um, I feel like the stars are aligning for you, Libra, somehow. 
perhaps you fell off the wheel before, you fell off, you know, you had a fortune and lost it kind of thing, and you have another chance. You, you have another chance to do it right, to do it the right way, to, to learn from those lessons of the past, to gain balance this time, to gain structure. Um, it's a 10, so it's ending something so you can start something else. Um, let's see, Libra. The Matriarch of Shields. So, this is sort of like a mature earth sign. So it could be um, a Virgo, a Taurus, a Capricorn energy. I would say it's like a mom or a grandmother. Some, maybe like a fam family member, an aunt. Um, it could be you. Um, you could have grandchildren. I feel like this person is very wise, very protected, protective, um, very stable, very creative, very grounded, very nurturing, and um, a really good teacher somehow. Um, I just see this like reindeer or a moose in the background so that maybe there's something towards the winter time or something up north. Um, that's important. Holidays. Um, I feel like there's something slow moving with this energy. Um, let's get more clarity on this, Libra. This could be somebody around you. Um, it could be like earthy energy in your chart. Um, it could be like a grandfather. I feel like it's somebody older. So, um, whether you're, you are young or old, I feel like this person is mature in their lessons. In, um, I feel like, let's get more clarity. It's hard with a general reading sometimes. I have a lot of stories that come up. So, let's see what we have for Libra for the Matriarch of Shields. The five of water, so worry. So perhaps there's, um, maybe you're worried about your grandparents or your parents, or your parents always get very worried about you and money um, becomes like an issue. This is sort of crying over spilled milk, the five of water. It's um, not accepting change so well or having a lot of emotions that come in and not knowing how to deal with them, how to process them. Perhaps this woman is helpful for you if you're trying to process something. Um, I feel like she's stability somehow, or it's asking you to ground yourself, to look at your situation as a growth, as something that you can gain strength from, gain a lesson from, gain stability from, um, and gain some like positive change from. But this is things not turning out the way you hoped, but you're not seeing the positive in a situation. It's crying over spilled milk. So it's, it's sometimes when the tower comes and a lot of things leave, or things change, or things are weird or different, and you don't really like it at first. It's when your focus is on all that and not all that you're getting or all that you could have. So the five of water is having consciousness over those feelings, not pushing them away, but not dwelling on them, recognizing them. So you recognize that you don't want to be there anymore. That wasn't good for you. That, that decision didn't work. That conversation didn't go so well because you reacted like this, whatever. And it's taking that situation and changing it the next time. So let's get some more, um, let's get more clarity and go to the romance angels for Libra and see what we have for just like relationships, communication, matters of the heart. It's different for everybody. It's a general reading. So let's see what we have for Libra. Release your ex, Libra. 
So perhaps it's time to let something go. You're thinking about all those things that happened and the good times, or you're thinking about only the bad times. It's time to just let it go. And I feel like let yourself have some new times. It's time, the time has come to clear your energy. So in the five of water, you're spending way too much energy on what didn't work. It could be a relationship that's been over a long time. It could be patterns within the relationship that you have now that you keep repeating, or it could be relationship patterns you had in the past that you keep repeating in future or present relationships. Um, so let's see, let's see, Libra. Let's go to the art of life, tarot, and let's get another card for Libra and see if we can get some kind of summary for leaving the past behind, leaving things that didn't work fall, let them go away. Um, I feel like there's something, there's a brighter day, there's something better for you. There was something that you had to learn in the past. Did you learn it? It's time, Libra, to stop any repeating patterns so you can have something brighter, bigger, better, and more suitable for you. That's the Three of Wands. So this is working together. This is to be what we are and to become what we are capable of becoming is the only end in life. I'm going to say that again. All right. To be what we are and to become what we are capable of becoming is the only end in life. You're always going to be evolving into something more magnificent. You're already special. You're already perfect. But you're always going to be evolving and like ever changing. Um, the quote here is Robert Louis Stevenson, and it's The Three Ages of Women, detailed by Gustav Klimt, 1905, Galleria Nationale di Arte, Moderna, Roma, Italy. I know I said that. It's so weird. It's like four something in the morning right now, just so you know. <laughs> um, I feel like it's growing up. You know, you have the three stages of women. You have the maiden, you have the mother, and then you have the crone. You have the wise one, the elder. And we all grow. We all hopefully grow, grow wise. We all grow with our experiences and we all change. So perhaps you're growing up somewhere in your life, or this is somebody around you, Libra, growing up. And um, I feel like there's a connection, um, Libra, especially with women in your life, um, the woman in you, the woman in your world, um, for men, but there is a feminine energy and a feminine energy that is... Um, young and old and the connection in between. I hope that makes sense. There's like growth and wisdom here. So um, it only comes with experience. It only comes when we move forward and we do something new. We give ourselves a new chance to start something. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I love you and I'll see you soon.